Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be setting up my monthly budget for the month of February. So let's get started. All right, so we're opened up to my calendar view for the month of February. If you caught my last video, then you see me set up this calendar view and lay down my bill due stickers, as well as my sidebar over here. So what we're doing today in this video is going over my monthly budget um, for February. So I have the... Um, budget spread right here as well as my thick and thin washi okay so we're just going to write down my budget um towards the end of this section um for february because the beginning pages will have like my expense log weekly check-in weekly balance savings tracker sinking funds all in a separate video so you will see me um set those videos up with you all so again, on this sheet, I'm going to keep track of my monthly budget. And it will basically capture all the bills we had in the calendar view. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down this thick washi, which I think is so pretty. I love roses. And I'm going to just go ahead and lay this down. That way we can get right into the numbers. So starting with the income section, as you may know, I do budget one month ahead. So I do keep a running one month ahead savings going on each month where I'll take money out of the paychecks for the month and save it towards the following month. So basically for this budget, uh, this um budgeted amount is coming from the paychecks we my boyfriend and I received in January so that's how we like to do our budget that way we can stay one month ahead and let me lay down this budget script with some deco So for the month of February, we are sticking to our budget that we set forth during our quarter one um, budget. And that is, let me write this down one month ahead. Um, for two one, and that is for $5,033 even. All right, and I'm going to save a space in case we have any extra money or extra income we want to include for the month of February. I doubt there'll be any rollover from January since we know that month was a little um, out of control. So I may not have any money to roll over but I'll keep an open space just in case we uh, have any miscellaneous income come in. And I'm just looking for this so I can draw my lines. All right, and let me take some washi just to separate the uh, budget out. And I'm trying to get better with um, talking and laying down stickers but <laughs> I find I get a little quiet and I do apologize for that it's like a skill to do both at the same time all right starting with the bill section let's go ahead and write down my bills if you caught my last video do you know some of my bills did change so that won't match the quarter one budget that we set forth for the first three months of the year um, but we will go over that in my quarter one budget closeout. So stay tuned for that. It will, you know, be a little later from now. It will be after the month of March. So probably sometime in um, April. So I'm just going to turn this over just a little. All right. So for my bills, I'm going to... I do want to flip back and forth to the calendar because it is really nice to look at. <laughs> 
so just wanted to make sure we're still in frame so for the bills i do have my rent and water due so i like to write them out separately on this spread um just so i can capture their individual totals so rent water for rent my uh rent is fixed at two thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars water is variable but i do budget out 125 dollars a month my next bill is um itunes storage and i'm trying to think i normally like to group all of my subscriptions together and i think i will i think i will continue to do that so i'm just going to write subscriptions here or subs Okay, so let me go ahead and total what all of my subscriptions may look like for the month. So I have $2.99 for iTunes storage. Then I have Netflix and Amazon for $26, Amazon Prime um, for $26.50. Then I have HBO Max for $17.31. Plus $18.39 for iTunes Music, $18.39. Then I have Rapid, Rapid ABI for $2 plus approximately $1 for a dictionary. I have it blank just because I just want to uh, wait till it comes out for January just so I know what the road number is. But I'm going to just budget a dollar for now. So that gives me a total of $68.19. So I'm going to round that up to $69. All right, so for subscriptions, I'm going from what I used to budget $48 a month, I'm going to now budget $69 a month. And that's because we added um, HBO Max right here. Okay, so after subscriptions, so we got these, I need to write down my renter's insurance. So renter's insurance. And that is normally $9.58. We got this one. Wi-Fi bill is $60.30. So Wi-Fi 60 with 30 cents. And I'm going to write this with a C in parentheses because I normally pay this bill with um, my credit card. Same thing for my subscriptions, except for Rapid API came out in the same account it used to come out in january and i think that's because all of these subscriptions were or not that one all of these subscriptions itunes storage netflix amazon itunes music hbo max dictionary rapid and not rapid api but dictionary i think all of those were like um added through itunes so when we updated the payment information through itunes it updated for everything except for rapid api so i'm thinking we must have did this manually um so i'm thinking if i should write this with the c because that one is isn't paid with the credit card but um now that i'm thinking about it since doing the 23rd we'll probably have time to make that change before it comes out but regardless i mean we we got to pay the bill so 69 dollars c for credit card whatever if we change it in time the two dollars will come out on the credit card versus the previous account if not it'll come out on a previous account it'll it'll get paid blah 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 <laughs> all right so after wi-fi which was on the 10th we have hbo max but we already captured that in subscriptions the flow app i'm not going to include in the monthly budget view because this is going to be paid through my annual subscription sinking fund so that's why I have it in this pink expense tracker for the sinking funds because that's how that will be paid. Same thing for Microsoft. This will come out with the annual subscriptions through my sinking funds. So it doesn't need to reflect in my monthly budget. All right, we got that, we got that, we got that. So the last thing to write down is my electricity bill. So I'm just going to write down electric. And for this bill, I normally budget $150 a month, but I did learn in January that I need to over budget for that 
because if you recall, um, during the winter months, like January, February, uh, my electric bill is uh, normally a little higher than expected. I didn't plan uh, well for January because I did lose those numbers, unfortunately. Um, so, and I kept my same $150 budgeted amount, but the bill was actually $181.75. So now that I learned from January and I see that February was higher than 150 as well, I'm going to budget $185 for uh, February. All right, so for February, I'm going to budget $185. And hopefully that's enough. I'm hoping it's too much because <laughs> we love some change over here. All right, so I'm just gonna close this section up and add my lines. All right, so let's do some math. So we have 2259 plus 125 plus 69 plus 958 plus $60 with 30 cents plus 185. Um, and that is 2707.88 cents. And I just remember one more category. And that is actually a buffer category because I do like for my bill total to be um, a round number. Okay, so let me add buffer here. And for my buffer amount, I like for this number to equal $27.50. At least that's what I've been doing um, for a while. Um, but that number may need to change just because I did take out a bill, which was my dance membership. And now it's looking like my buffer would normally be $9.12. And now it's going to be $42.12. So I feel like that's a little bit big for a buffer because some of that money could go towards a different category. Um, but until I think of like where I would want it to go, I'm just going to add it here for now. And then in my actual, uh, like for the budget closeout, if I did move some of this money around, I'll just mark where I moved it in the actual column. So for right now, this total section for bills will be $2,750 even. Because again, that's the number I normally budget for bills. But I did remove a bill, so that's why my buffer is higher than normal. So the next category would be my cash envelopes. And I have six categories. I don't actually ca uh, carry physical cash. I just swipe my credit card so that I can earn credit card rewards. And I like to um, turn those re reward points into uh, money so I can do direct deposits into my main uh, checkings account. So I do have uh, six categories. So the first one is gasoline. And I misspelled that. Gasoline. Okay, so for gasoline, I normally budget $200. So I'm just going to keep that the same for right now. And if I see that we're not spending this um, like consistently, I'm going to reduce it. But for right now, I'm going to keep it at $200. After that is groceries. And this budget right now is at $850. And I'm going to do my best to stay within budget for the month of February. After that is household. And this is usually $200. Normally always spend that. So that's a good number to keep it at. After that is my personal spending. I don't keep track of my boyfriend's personal spending, just my own. So for myself, I do have $100 a month. After that is eating out. And I was considering taking this off, um, but I decided to keep it on there and we only use $100 a month, but we have been spending that like in the first week or week or two of the month, every month lately. 
and I want us to get better with meal prepping at home so that we can stick to our grocery budget. So I feel like because I'm trying to get better with cooking at home, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, we may not need to use eating out. But I think I'll keep it there just to treat ourselves just in case we do get the urge to eat out. And because, you know, sometimes, you know, you get a little lazy or I, I get a little lazy and don't feel like cooking for whatever reason. So I don't want to be too hard on myself when I have those days. So I'm just going to keep the eating out budget, but I'm going to keep it at the $100 and just make sure we do not go over the $100. And the last category is entertainment. And this is also $100, just in case there's anything we want to do for fun. All right, so I'm going to close this up. All right, so let's add up the cash envelope section. So we have $200 plus 850 plus 200 plus 100 plus 100 and plus 100 again. So that totals $1,550 and that is right on budget. So $1,550. All right, so after that section, I have a miscellaneous section. But let me add some more washi real quick just to break up this down here. All right, so for miscellaneous, this just holds my sinking funds category and my um, unbudgeted categories. So first is sinking funds. And for sinking funds, I normally budget $733. And then for unbudgeted, I don't plan for unbudgeted, so this will be zero. And then I'll leave a space in case there's anything else to add in the miscellaneous section. Um, I was just thinking, I do have a couple of birthdays for the month of February. So I'm just flipping to my mini month section and I do have a couple of birthdays this month, or not this month, but in the month of February. So I definitely need to add some money in my gifts sinking fund. So I'm just hoping I remember to do that. But if not, I guess I can write it in this space. But yeah, hopefully I remember to add some money from this 733 into the gifts category. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to add more than 733 just to help cover gifts. Because I do want to add a few sinking funds. Um, for the month of February, but we'll get to that in my sinking funds video, which will be um, filmed separately. So stay tuned for that. And then lastly, for the breakdown, we have um, income as the $5,033. We have bills at two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars then we have cash envelopes at one thousand five hundred and fifty dollars and lastly we have miscellaneous and i didn't write the total 733 so we have miscellaneous at seven hundred thirty three dollars even Okay, so closing that up, this should give us a zero base budget because we do like to assign all of our dollars um, a job to do so that every dollar has a place to go. That way we don't have to sit back at the end of the month and wonder what happened to our money. We'll know because this month we are going to stick to the budget. All right, and so the leftover again should be zero dollars, but we can go ahead and check that math. So we have $5,033 as the 
expected income because we did already save for that from the month of January with the January paychecks. Minus total bills, $27.50. Minus $15.50 for cash envelopes and minus $733 for the miscellaneous section, which is te technically just my sinking funds. And again, we get zero. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close up the bottom of this spread because we are all set. All right, so this is all that I have for today's video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all next time. Bye.